Welcome one and all folks and welcome back to the Irish Whiskey Tournament of Extreme. I am your King of Extreme, Phil Kaywee, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes you the podcast coward. You can find me at Kaywee Nation on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. And we are here for another matchup of Irish Whiskey Persuasion. And I am joined by my indomitable broadcast partners, the one, the only... Chicken, your big bucking emperor. Find me on Facebook and YouTube, Big Bucking Empire. Let's do it, Tony. And also, the blend master, lover of Irish whiskey, the non cop friendly Tony fucking G. Find me on TikTok while you can. Tony the Rod 2.0. Here we are again for another first round matchup of the 32 Irish whiskey tournament of Extreme. Now, new to the video series this is a blind tasting and winner can only advance with uh two to one advantage so phil and chicken are both doing this blind you the viewer you can see clearly below us which whiskey is which what is matched yep. up against each other but they do not yep. know we are none the wiser at the moment so folks we are going to find out which one moves on to the sweet 16 and we are going to start with whiskey a Rich, rich honey. Wow. Like honeycomb. This is one I haven't had in a minute, so... Vanilla? Wow. <clears throat> yeah, the I, this vanilla, is... definitely. I've been sitting on this one for a while. I came back to it just tonight, and wow, that's definitely different than I recall. You're right, like vanilla extract. It's thick. It's, it is. It's thick. It's sharp. Bourbon barrel was done here. I... There's almost a cane sugar... I had a sarsaparilla the other day, and I'm thinking, like, it, it smells like it tastes like cane sugar. Mm. Mm. All right, going to be. They're still selling those. Uh, I, I had it in Paxton. Oh, uh, well, yeah, at you're right. oh. <laughs> Yeah, for folks not from Nebraska, that's a town <laughs> Nothing out in, I said. way, way out in western Nebraska <laughs> that nobody knows about. Nothing I just said made any sense. Yeah. I had a sarsaparilla in Paxton at Oli's. <laughs> <laughs> some of our buddies from New York are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Is that some kind of weird fucking accent they're speaking? Yeah. Oh, All right, God. I, I hate this deep. nose. I thought you might. There is a finish in there. Mm, yeah, there's definitely... I think uh, there's a finish. I, I, I could be yeah, off, I can... but I think there is. But to me, it smells like a rotten licorice. Wow. Okay. I rather okay. enjoy this nose. I mean, I know what it is, but... It's, it's... it's a port... Tony, if it's a port finish, I win two gold stars. Okay. It's, okay. Well, it probably is a port finish. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. But um, it, it's like a rotten licorice that's been, like, Boy. digested three times. Oh, Tell us how you really feel. Well, shit. I think we know. Okay, uh, actually, it. if anything... Tequila, like really cheap Montezuma tequila smell. Oh wow, that! Oh my God! Really? I hit it on the nose, didn't memory. I? Memory. You just right there. I just I memory. nailed it. I nailed oh, it. You fucking asshole! Now I'm never gonna be able to unsmell that. Thanks a lot. Well, let's start with whiskey, gents. God damn it, chicken! <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to enjoy that. Thanks, Dick. Too many bad margaritas. Mm-hmm. I made half of them for you. True. Oh, oh there's a blessing nice spice there. Yeah. It starts off kind of subtle, and then it goes super minty with a little spice. That and is then not just away. malted barley. There it is. That's interesting. Hmm. Almost makes me want to say rye whiskey. It almost. No, it, it's, it's not rye. Right, it does go sweet right. at the end. It turns sweet at the end. Okay. Okay. I can see why you'd say rye, though. It, it does have some components and qualities there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. God, I'm dreading this. I'm looking for this. Is, yeah. This is Montezuma tequila, I'm telling you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Whiny. Yeah. I, I would agree. Like this to me, I would think just like a like a red wine barrel finish. 
Melty? It tastes better than it smells. I'll give it that. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to say, um, well, let me go back. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. This is going to be an interesting one. I, this definitely, I'm glad I paired these two now because this is not what I expected. Because I have not had this I mean, one in a while. Are these the same distillery? No. Okay. They are not. Because they taste like they're from opposite sides of the island. Okay, like I'll, I'll be okay. honest, like okay. it's two entirely different experiences of Irish whiskey. Hmm. Okay. I mean, if you told me either of them was hmm. Irish, I could totally believe it, but it's two entirely different experiences. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going with B. I had a feeling you might. And chicken, I've got a funny feeling I know which way you're going, but let's hear it. I don't know. I. I think I'm gonna go with B as well. I hate the nose, but I had a feeling the flavor might win you. It's good. <clears throat> it is. And the funny thing about this one, this one did not score great the first time we tried it, and then I tried it multiple times after. Like, oh goodness, that that really opens up. This one I enjoyed multiple times, and I really, I didn't think it was this complex any of those times, and I have not touched this one in quite some time, because I've been waiting specifically for this moment, this one surprises me. It's a lot deeper than I remember. Now, so that's a that's a B vote from both of you. Yep. yep. I, I'm, I'm still actually a little torn, but it doesn't matter. So. It does for science. It matters for science. That's what I'm I, I, I'm, I'm going to go with B as well. Oh dear, sweet Jesus! Really? I wouldn't think it this... adds the tiniest little pinch of spice to an already excellent, excellent whiskey. Yeah, mm, that's a that's a pretty good blend. I'm gonna Let's give it, it a minus. I'm gonna give it a B. It's good. It's not great, but it's good. No, I really like that. Wow, that's nice. And what? Oh my God, the legs. Mm -hmm. The legs. Now, Tony. Oh, showgirl Me legs. and uh, Chicken are a little wow. curious here. What did we just... No, no, let's prolong this a little bit more. That's a great one. Yeah. I'm giving that an easy A. Easy A. Emma Stone level easy A. Wow, that's nice. Uh, that's really good. <laughs> so this is going to be a clean, I don't know if you're allowed movie. to say that anymore. <laughs> Why? It was a movie she was in. Come on. That was just like... It was on point. Fuck you guys. That was a great reference. That's an A. That's an A blend. Easy A. Very nice. Um, so, clean sweep for B, just barely. What do you what do you, you want to guess? You said some finishing on B. The, the winner. Yeah, there's some sort of... What kind? I almost want to say port. Okay. But I okay. think I might be off on that. Right. But it's a fortified wine of some kind. Okay, and you had some malting ideas on this one? Uh, there's probably more than one. Okay. Whiskey A, the loser. Drum roll. D Lynn single malt. Oh, okay. Nice. So I was off on that. I figured it was not single malt grain. But I'm going to find out. It's like, ah, uh, it's like 45%. What is, what is the ABV on that? Is that. That drinks forty six percent. I say that drank stronger than I remember. Yeah, really, really like that. Um, but the winner, you're right. It is a uh, finish. It's not port. It's sherry. Well, oh, hey, the Whistler PX. I love you, sherry cask. Mm, triple distilled single malt. Give me at least credit on being like that's finished. Yeah. yeah. I drank enough Dalmore in my yeah, day. That, that, uh, that was closer than I anticipated. I really thought this one would run away with it. It did sweep, but it's close. Ooh, yeah, because Teeling makes good shit. Like, I they don't do. care what yeah. anybody says. Teeling is good whiskey. Yeah. I've had no, no complaints about any bottle. But no, the, the single grain is one of the best single grain Irishes I've ever had. Yeah, sometimes you got to get past the nose, but... Uh... Yeah, There's some one, good juice one, in there when you get past the now sometimes. That was the thing with us. And this is 46 ABV. So this one definitely, it's also a small batch, by the way. 
Uh, matured in bourbon barrels and finished in PX sherry casks. This is a really nice one. Like, this did not score highly with us. The, the sherry time. doesn't come out as much as, you, like, a lot of others do. I see. I think it I think it comes out so harshly that you mistake it. Like, Phil was doing with pork. Like, it's a finish, but he was almost leading. Well, no, I got the same it thing with him. It was like, I was getting more of, like, a wine flavor, like, uh, yeah, that's sherry. Yeah. Well, like, no, like, so I, more sour. I was able to call out yeah. that part. But, but yeah, like this Irish whiskey, it's uh, sherry finishing is going to be a little different from like the doll one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, yeah. Like, we're, we're a little spoiled on that. See, that's the honest. thing. Yeah, it's it's the blend of the finishing with the Irish instead of the, the scotch. So, yeah, this one this one was different, I think, the first time we tried it. And then I enjoyed it a little more after that. Like, this one really surprised me more. So I, I expected this one to walk away with it. This was a lot closer. Uh, this, this is because we stuff. were all considering A, but we went with B. There you go. I mean, it's just a double whiskey. So, yeah. folks, as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, and we love you, PX, I love you, the Whistler. You move on to the Sweet 16 of this grand, glorious Irish tournament. I am your King of Extreme, Phil Carey, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes the other podcast hour. You can find me, of course, Carey Nation, right here on YouTube. Also, check me out at Carey Nation on Twitch and TikTok. Leaving chicken hanging. There we go. Folks, God bless all of you people. Can't wait to find you back here happy, healthy, much the wiser chicken. Tony, take it away. Well, that whole time I was just up here resting my arm, and Phil thought where I was trying to cheers him. I was just, I was just, I was just chilling, man. Like, oh, I didn't want to leave you hanging there, man. Jeez, yeah, yeah. it's all good. Uh, I that am like- chicken. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm chicken. Your big bucket emperor. Check me out Facebook, YouTube, Big Bucket Empire, Linktree slash Big Bucket to see us live every week, and uh, I look forward to more videos with you beautiful people with some more beautiful, beautiful liquid out of some these little mini bottles that i got sitting back here and i don't know what the fuck they are until these guys decide they want to start drinking with me i'm excited for the next round yes and you are gonna have to tune in right here to koe nation on youtube to see it all but tony i'm just tony the rod 2.0 on the tiktok your blend master master ceremonies 32 irish whiskey tournament of extreme and we will see you on the next one tony g thank you like share subscribe Next time. <laughs> All right.